calling them and telling them about your business only makes you weak, only makes you dependent on them. Stop giving people access to you like that. You will meet people who will just show it to you that they hate you. Those kind of people, it's easy for you to say, okay, they don't like me. I don't need to speak to them. I need to give them space. But the most dangerous people are the people who will come to you as friends. They are your enemies, but they will come to you as friends. They will come to you like they like you. They will come to you like they are nice to you. But all they want to basically do is to know your weakness, is to know what makes you thick, is to mock what makes you who you are. You might even meet them where you go to drop your kids at school. You can even meet them at work. You can meet them anywhere. They will just be somewhere looking at you like, man, she's so pretty. She's all that. What makes her thick? Who does she think she is? And you wouldn't know. They will come to you. They will befriend you. Just to know about your life. And on my last video, I talked about focusing on yourself. And I think this is kind of me elaborating on that video because some of my sisters feel like I did not say much or I need to elaborate on that video on you focusing on yourself. And I feel like one of the ways that you can actually do this is by not giving people access to you stop giving people people do, people do not need to come to your house and know what kind of furniture you have you understand people do not need to come to your house and know what's in your kitchen or what's in your bathroom because there are people who come to your house just to use your bathroom not because they really want to not because they are pressed or anything like that because your bathroom is your intimate space. They want to see your intimate space, how it looks like. They want to weigh you. It's like when you go out and people ask you this question, or when you meet people and they ask you, what do you do? Yeah, you go to business functions. That is okay. People are there to collaborate. People are there to talk about business. And of course, people are there to is a meetup for business and it's fair and it's right for people to ask you you understand it is normal for people to ask you oh, what do you do what is your business about what is your job about you understand but not me meeting you where i go at my kids school you understand what i'm saying and you're asking me what do i do because what some people tend to do is this they want to weigh you if you know what I mean, they want to weigh what you are, they want to weigh where you are in the society, they want to weigh what your finances are. You understand? People are so sneaky these days. That is why you do not give people access to you like that. I know sometimes we go through stuff and we feel like we need to talk, we need to vent. Girl, listen, <laughs> you can vent to yourself. Yes, that is something that I have been doing since 2023 and it has saved me from so much headache and gossip from people each time i feel like i need to vent and i need to talk about stuff and right now i really need to scream i just go to my bathroom and i do it sometimes i'll be in my kitchen i'll be talking to myself and my daughter will just come in and she's like <laughs> my daughter is three she'll be like mommy you okay i'll say yes mommy is so loquizing Mommy, I'm, 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 I'm speaking to myself. You understand? So I just give her some kind of talk. And she just laughs. And she's all right, mommy. And she goes. You understand what I'm saying? I speak to myself. Because I tell you this. <laughs> I didn't used to be like this. When I'm, when, I'm, when I'm so low or I feel like I needed to vent, I will call people I thought were my friends. And I will talk. And I found out that my business was on the street people you will begin to lose value in the eyes of people you understand every little thing happened in your life you call people your husband treats you like bullshit you call your friend your boyfriend treats you like whatever you have an argument you call your friend your mother you have an argument with your mother you have you have an argument at work you cannot deal with things by yourself you know what i think for me i felt like i was emotionally weak I was emotionally immature. That's just the truth. And people, 80% of people, they do not care. 
they do not care you calling them and telling them about your business only makes you weak only makes you dependent on them and i used to be this person i said it on my last video i didn't even know how to read the room you understand me i will be this person that will call people to talk about my personal issue with certain people and they never say their personal things to me and i did not even notice that it was like that you understand me because what they did was they created this or they gave me the illusion that they have this safe space for me to come talk to them to come have these conversations with them is an illusion it's not real what it what it is what the what actually what it means is that they want to know all about my stuff they want to know about my life they want to know about my dealings so they they give me this illusion that i'm here to listen to you adi if you feel like you need to talk you can call me no what it is is i'm here to listen to you tell me your secret but i found out that they don't tell me stuff like that they don't have that space where they vent on me you understand what i'm saying they keep their secret to themselves and i began to learn and when i started learning how to read the room so many things began to change in my life i became so self-aware of my thinking of how i deal with people of my secrets you understand what i'm saying because i began to understand that there were people that I was no longer friends with and there were people who were never my friends they seemed to know stuff about me and I was like how do people know things about me and I realized and I know the same for you your pe people you call your friends they are the ones telling your enemies your secret have you ever thought about that the people there are people who don't talk to you they don't even like you you are not even in the same space but they know so much about you because there are people in your life that you kind of feel like you trust and you call them your friends and they do not call you their friends and they're telling your enemies your secret that is why you need to stop giving people access to you people don't need to come to your house and use the toilet I know people might say oh but she's pressed you understand me but they need to use the why would you not use the toilet in your house we in your house before you come to my house why why would you because i have seen where people talk rubbish oh their bathroom is so messed up oh there were things everywhere you go to people's house and spy their houses and i've heard people say oh i went to their house we so messed up like there were kids plates on the things they were that on the that goodness you see why you can't let people into your space stop letting people into your space stop it this year just don't people don't need to know everything about you people don't need to know your dress size people don't need to know your shoe size people don't need to know these things about you be a mystery even to friends you let them into your life and what is it they pretend like they like you they pretend that they love you and for whatever reason you break up that relationship especially maybe with a woman and you guys have been friends for a minute and you've told them so many things about yourself which has happened to me and they walk away and they walk away with your secret and they don't care they hold no allegiance to you anymore so now your shit is on the street how long will you continue like this it's a pattern i was on that pattern for years where i'll make friends because i am the kind of person that will make friends and i will love so hard <laughs> god i used to fall in love with my friend like i'm talking about guy my girlfriend like i'll be there i will travel with you i will go to the hospital with you i will support you i will just be there <laughs> life life will teach you life will teach you that you think that you have people but you do not life will teach you that you think that you have friends but you do not stop giving people access to you like that 
focus on you this year focus on your goals not everyone need to know where you live you should not be the last resort for people people should not just call you on the last minute to say oh oh uh, yeah i'm around your area i just try to see you because you know what they weren't coming to see you they were going somewhere else and they looked at it like oh they were a bit early like okay let me pass at this one hour at your house no and now they're putting you in this kind of rush rush mood for whatever reason maybe you've not showered you're just chilling maybe your house is a kind of a mess and now you have to kind of clean up and do this stuff because if you don't they will judge you and if there are nigerians like me who don't control their mouths they will tell you ah why is your house like this ah, you never sweep since why is your kitchen like this ah you know what they won't even help you because most people don't even care about your mental health in the first place you understand what i'm saying they won't even take the time to say how are you people will ask you how are you and will not wait for the answer that is the generation we are in that's why you do not give people access to you like that they don't care like that they do not care about you be selective of the people you give access to let it be a checklist of people that you give access into your life they will come to your house not because they're coming to see you just to pass out the one hour time what an insult oh let me just know where you even live so can you give me your address i'm in your area no you're not i'm not going to give you my address I used to be that person I used to do that but I <laughs> I don't I don't a few people have tried that with me and I'm like listen I'm not home I'm not at home I'm not even in the country <laughs> God what are you on about are you on crack I'm in your area I just thought I see you, you are you okay if you want to come see me I am a queen I am a queen you treat me like one because you would treat me with respect that I deserve because I would treat you with the respect that you deserve. I'm not going to come and say, oh, I'm in your area. Let me just see you. For what now? No pre-planned, nothing. I'm just in your area. Let me just check on you. Can you give me your address? Go okay, by. Do not give people access to you like that. You will gain so much respect by doing this. You will gain so much self-respect from yourself. You will gain so much self-respect from others when you make yourself scars. And they will say, "Who oh, does she think she is? Yeah, I'm all that. I'm more. I am a queen. People don't have to accept it. People don't have to like it. People don't have to take you the way you take yourself. But who cares? But one thing is for sure. People will treat you the way you treat yourself if you carry yourself like a queen people will treat you like one and if you say that you are shit people will treat you like shit that is my message to you and that is all i have to say on this matter don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and i will see you on my next one